<laughs> um, what's going on guys? So it is day one of my 90 day challenge and no better way to start it than a chest pull workout really. So I'm uh, gonna start with that. We're in the outdoor gym. You're gonna try and go for some weighted dips. Uh, move on to probably bench press superset with something. Uh, and then gonna try and do like a little what after that as well. So a bunch of different things. Try and do it all in this outdoor area if I can. Um, and that's about it. But yeah, we'll start warming up and, um, and get into it. Let's go! Set one, basically a warm up. Just gonna see what we can get. Go for like eight or ten body weight, and then we'll start adding some weight after that. I'm probably gonna go like five sets, maybe in total, five or six. Um, just keep building up in weight. I have no idea what I can do for ring dips. Normal dips, like I can go up a bit in weight, but ring dips are a lot harder. So if I can even do 20, I'll be pretty stoked. I can that's a good goal. But yeah, set one, let's go. Alright, let's have some weight. favoring one side. The right side is like twisting forward. That's probably why I got shoulder problems, but that's okay. Let's try 20 kilos. There's a whole different kind of heart. Arms are shaking like crazy on that last one. But, so 10 body weight, eight with 10 kilos. And then we'll go three sets of six at 20, I reckon. And then we'll move on. Last set, one more. Almost there. The hardest part is not even the weight. It's actually just like balancing, like on the on the rings. The more sets I do, the more like like wobbly. Like you'll see in like the fifth and sixth rep, arms are just cooked. So there's like nothing left. But so right. work on it. We we'll get stronger with these. Something new. Let's go, last one. Oh, that sucks. Probably go one more set. Just do body weight and max out. And then I'm done. We've got some bench press. 
Let me get That is so much harder. I'm gonna do a superset so we're gonna go for I'm thinking bench press and then I'm gonna grab some of the kettlebells and we're gonna do like an undergrip front raise. You guys will see it in the clips anyway. Bench press probably go let's go 12 to 8, why not? Three sets. So maybe 12 it. I don't know, I have no idea. Let's see, gonna warm up now. Yes I just did dips but he's need to warm up. AZ music. do a good warm-up imagine the weight's still heavy I don't care if it's just the bar imagine that it's like 120 kilos and the whole peeps all right let's go 12 reps baby weight This is not baby weight. Alright, second set, gone up by 5 in total, so we went 80 for 12, now we're going 85 for 10. The kettlebell upright things are going to stay the same, so we're doing 12 each side of those every set. This one goes up a little bit in weight, 10 here, last set will be 8. Might go 6, let's see how I feel. But That was a lot harder than it should have been. I only got nine. So the next set, we'll go 90 for six. Last set, going with six reps. Because my chest is cute. Six reps and I'll be happy. Last thing, what we're gonna try and go for, I'm thinking we're gonna have five rounds of like a ring push-up to start. So I'll show you what that is. Ring's basically down to the ground, all the way down in push-up position. Hands are just on the ring, so that's the only difference. Um, so coming up, squeeze together on the way up with that. 
And then we're gonna go for a barbell skull crusher. So basically sitting up on the bench that I use for bench press. And we're gonna get a little bit of abs. So probably go for a plank. And yeah, five rounds of that. Maybe a minute rest in between each round. And um, yeah, let's go guys. Last things for the chest workout. Chest workout done. I'm um, gonna finish off with some skipping because I got one of the good ropes here. And one of my goals that you'll see in the next little bit for my goal setting is to do double unders. So, only one way to get better at them, I guess. So, let's give them a crack. I'm just gonna practice for about five or 10 minutes. But, hope you enjoy the workout. Check out the next bit. I'll put the goal setting there. And, um, yeah, guys, let's smash this challenge. 90 days, 90 vlogs, 90 workouts for you guys, basically. So, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And let's do it. I'm done. All right, what's going on guys? So, day one of my 90 day challenge. I thought the best way to start is obviously setting my goals. So I'd run you guys through how I'm gonna do that. So this is exactly what I did with all of my clients and kind of how we structured it. We start with bigger goals, like just smaller goals and smaller goals. And then it just seems more attainable because if you have daily goals to go for that work towards your bigger goals, it just seems a lot simpler. Instead of thinking, oh my God, in 90 days I'm gonna do this, we just think each day, okay, do this. Make it real, real easy. It's super simple, super basic, and um, yeah, let's get into it. So these are gonna be my personal goals. I've had a little bit of a think about these, but not too much. So I'm gonna be kind of coming up with most of them right now. What we're gonna to do to start, we're gonna start with 90 day goals. So that'll be our first ones. So that's kind of like our big goals. So what we want to achieve by the end of it. So for me, it's more, uh, I guess like what I can do. So there's certain things that one, I just never do. Um, and I want to be able to do. A few of them are kind of like CrossFit movements. So stuff like handstand walks, I've never been able to do. I've never really tried. Tried like twice maybe, and just been like, oh, I can't do this. So handstand walks, uh, double unders, I want to be able to do them comfortably in workouts. Uh, ring muscle ups, I want to be comfortable. I can do a couple, but I want to be like, okay to do like 10 in a row and have a workout. Um, and I want to get 100 kilos overhead. So they're probably like my, my fitness goals, I guess. So I'll write them down up the top in my 90 day goals. Uh, 
Next up, I guess I've got like some recovery or mobility sort of goals as well. So that's going to be a big thing for me to focus on at the moment because I'm terrible with it. I've gotten a lot better, but it's definitely something I need to improve on. So what I'm aiming for is one of the things I want to be able to do is, you know, when people kind of grab their hands behind their back and touch, I, I can't even get close. I'll try and show you. That's, that's like as close as I can get. So. I want to be able to do that, actually grab the hands so that my shoulders are a bit more mobile. Um, I've got a bit of a sore rib, so I want to fix that. They're probably the biggest ones I want in terms of mobility and recovery. So grab my hands behind the back um, and yeah, fix my rib, fix my tennis elbow. Yeah, pretty simple stuff there. There's not too much. I guess I just want to stay on top of it. That's probably the main thing for me. Um, so that'll be probably coming to my weekly goals, my recovery a little bit more. All right. So next up, what another goal that I want is stuff to do with surfing. So this is kind of something that is still fairly new to me. I've been doing it for maybe a year since like the first quarantine. Um, and from there I've gotten better, but I'm still not where I want to be. So that's going to be something for me to improve on as well. So I think in the 90 days, I want to, I want to get a barrel and I want to be able to do like good turns, sort of spraying some water into the air, like consistently. So they're probably the two goals I've got for that. So get barreled and good turns. Yeah, fitness wise, recovery wise, uh, oh, and food wise. So food wise, I guess one of the things I want to focus on is I don't want to have any junk food for the whole 90 days. I, I eat a lot of it, um, not gonna lie. And I'm not too bothered about like what kind of food it is. I just more so want to, want to stop spending so much money on junk food. Like I'll, I'll spend so much, so. That's that's a big goal for me. That's gonna be um, it's gonna be hard because Macca's is like literally walking distance away. But yeah, it's okay. I'll do it. 90 days, I can do it. No junk food. And then the last thing as well is gonna to relate to this. So YouTubing. So I want to vlog every single day of the challenge. So 90 days, 90 vlogs. Gonna be a lot of work, but I'll put it out for you guys. Why not? And I enjoy it too. So um, 90 vlogs as well. That'll be my 90 day goals. From there, moving on to weekly goals. So this is where we start to break down the bigger goals, okay? So um, how I would do this and how I did it with most of my clients is like, let's say handstand walks is one of my goals. What I would do is be like, okay, how many times a week are you gonna be doing handstand walks, double unders, ring muscle ups, and sort of overhead movements, you know, okay? So try and make sure that you're doing each room probably at least twice a week. Um, if you're doing that consistently and spending, I'd probably say at least 15 to 20 minutes on each room each time. So that's at least half an hour a week on each individual exercise. You're gonna progress somehow, you know? Like if I'm spending 15 minutes a week, twice a week on handstand walks, I should get a hell of a lot better at them. Not me, I'll probably spend longer than 15 minutes, but if you set that as a minimum, um, that's gonna help a lot, okay? So handstand walks, so weekly goals is to do each of these exercises twice a week. Um, okay. Next one, we've got some mobility work. Okay, so how am I gonna get better at grabbing my hand behind my back and how am I gonna fix my ribs? Okay, my rib is a little bit of cartilage damage, so that's just gonna come down to general recovery and rest. Um, but grabbing my hand behind my back is something I've never been able to do. Um, so I think just general stretching, general mobility work, I wanna be doing at least three 30 minute sessions a week on mobility. That's my goal, so at least three 30 minute sessions. So that's where you kind of break it down, make it easier. That doesn't sound so bad, you know? Like when you think about the whole big picture, you're like, oh shit, that's a lot. Three 30 minute sessions, it's nothing. I can do that. So, three times 30 minutes. Okay. Next up, we've got my goals to do with surfing. So get barreled and get good at turns. Um, okay, to break those down, honestly, you just have to be in the water. So I think for me, I, I wanna be out there every day that it's good. Um, but realistically, considering I'm doing this, I'm working in the mornings, I'm working out, I've got everything else, I'm doing my bit mobility too. Um, I want to say at least three surf sessions a week. So at least three hours a week um, of surfing. So yeah, three hours, yeah, three sessions. Cool. Um, so three surfs a week, by rights, I, I should get better, you'd hope so. If I don't, there's something wrong with me. From there, no junk food, that one's pretty easy. I don't really have to set a weekly goal. The weekly goal is just no junk food. Um, and for me, that's kind of just not buying takeout. Like I'll still go to a restaurant and I'll still eat with, still out, yeah, still eat out with friends. Um, or if there's an event, I'm still gonna have drinks. Like I'm not too concerned with that. It's not really a problem that I have. 
Um, but when it comes to yeah, Maccas, KFC, Domino's, Guzman and Gomez, oh, that's gonna be hard. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan. Uh, 90 vlogs as well, so weekly goals, so seven vlogs, I'd say. Cool. Okay, so breaking them down, uh, what we're gonna go for next is our daily goals. So daily goals is where we break down the weekly goals even more, and we might even chuck in some others. So a lot of my clients, um, stuff that they've done for this is, uh, I guess, get more sleep. So eight hours of sleep, um, drink two liters of water at least a day, because a lot of them struggle with water, especially during winter. Um, other one, popular ones were at least 30 minutes of exercise, which is probably one I'm going to put in because even on my, like, my rest days, if I can do at least 30 minutes mobility stretching, um, that's going to be really, really good for me, I think. So as long as I'm moving somehow during the day, it'll be good. Um, yeah, surf anytime I can, really. Every time I'm free, I need to get in the water because I procrastinate about it a lot, so surf as much as I can. Daily goals for me are going to be obviously posting a vlog every day. Uh, that's going to be a big one. Another one I just went over before is at least 30 minutes of exercise every day. So whether that is surfing, mobility, working out, going for a walk, whatever it is, just move for half an hour a day, okay? Um, in terms of surfing, I guess if I've got spare time and the surf looks good, even if it doesn't look good, if I've got spare time, I need to be out in the water. So that's going to be a big goal of mine as well. Um, no junk food, it's the same, just don't eat it. So that's a simple one. Um, other daily goals, I think I'd like to add in at least 10 minutes of stretching. So yes, I've got 30 minutes of movement, but whether that's going for a walk or whatever, I still want to stretch for at least 10 minutes every day. So that's before bed or not before bed, I'm not too bothered. Um, just get 10 minutes in, that's, that's probably the biggest goal. But yeah guys, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, you probably can't even see much on the camera to be honest with you, but I've been adding stuff there anyway. So this is what we got by the end of it, okay? Uh, yeah, you can see that. So 90 day, we start with the big goals, work into your weekly goals, and then we work into the daily goals as well, okay? So try and break it down as much as you can. The more you break it down, the simpler it's gonna get. It's, yeah, the more you can like make yourself believe that it's easy, the easier it is gonna be, okay? It really is that simple, guys. That's it. Let's do it. If you haven't already, or if you found this video useful, please make sure that you like, subscribe, all that good stuff, okay? Um, I'll be posting every single day for the 90 days, so there's going to be different kinds of content out there. I'll be posting uh, workouts that I do every day. Um, I'll try and take my GoPro when I go for a surf. I'll be posting up uh, tips like this. I'll be posting food things. I think every week I'm going to do a different meal plan. Um, there's going to be heaps, guys. Just subscribe, trust me. You're going to want to see it. And um, yeah, keep liking those videos. Helps out heaps. But, yeah, enjoy your day, guys. I'll see you next time.